we're gonna make this. What up everybody, it's your girl July from Youth On Record, Hits On Record, and today we're going to talk about how to manipulate loops. I'm going to show you five ways to manipulate audio loops, okay? So we're going to click on Browse Loops, and I like hip hop, so we're just going to do hip hop today. Hip hop, piano, and then we got a bunch of loops here. So the best ones to manipulate are going to be the ones without the drums and the bass and everything all together. So what you want to do is find stuff, specifically melodies that are isolated from other instruments. Like these. So you could pick an instrument or a melody that has a few instruments in it, but not other elements. So if it's a piano melody, you don't also want an 808 in there. If it's a, a, a guitar, you don't also want drums in it, that type of thing. So we're just going to get something that just has one instrument in it to start. And it can be more than one instrument, but in this case, no bass, no drums, just a melody. We're going to use this one. So this is what we're starting with. First thing we could do to manipulate it is transpose it. And keep in mind, you don't have to go in any specific order on the tips I'm giving y'all. But this is what it sounds like now. The next thing you could do is reverse it. So we'll go to edit and reverse, and that's going to play it backwards. All right, now we'll undo that. Another cool thing you could do is chop it. So if we come here, right click split region here split region split region okay and you could go as granular as you want to you can zoom in and cut more like this or you can cut here and here. Cool, so now we got some basic chops and you can rearrange them from here. So let's say we don't want this. I'm gonna duplicate this over. We can keep that. And maybe we'll move this, zoom in a bit over here. And then let's listen to it. All right. And then maybe we don't want this next one. Take this here. Okay. So that means I can essentially get rid of the second half if I want to and we could just keep this one since it's already chopped up right now you'll hear a bunch of pops in this so in order to fix that you can make this bigger and zoom in a bit and now you'll see at the top when you get this little icon with the arrows on both sides you can add fades and fade it in and out so that it doesn't pop and we're doing it to all of them. You could do them to all of them at the same time. So in order to do that, you got to select all of them. So all of them are selected. See that? 
and then we'll also do that side. And it's also a bit more bouncy. So when you have longer fades, you can make it bounce a little bit more. Another thing we could do is take that same loop that we used, which is here have a second copy of it playing at the same time. And we can, again, we're going to transpose it just like we did the other one, E flat minor. And then from here, we could go to voice transform and we'll go up an octave. So it'll sound higher in pitch. And let's see what that sounds like. Let's hear what that sounds like by itself. Sounds pretty weird. So what I'm going to do is time stretch it. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt. And right now it says stretch region. We're going to do it, stretch it to half the length that it was before. Give it some time to load. And then we'll see what that sounds like. We'll also duplicate it over. That sounds okay. It's popping a little bit. I'm going to try to go up one more octave here. So change pitch. And I like how weird and crazy that sounds. So let's hear what both of those sound like together. Again, we're going to chop it up a bit. Let's move this here. We'll duplicate this. Maybe keep that. Duplicate this last part. Cool. Now what we could do is add effects. So if we come up here, add effect, my go-to effects for manipulating melodies are going to be chorus, flanger, phaser. You could try any of these and see what they sound like. If you want to manipulate a melody, I would suggest using the top two rows, including the stereo delay, but just go for these for the most part. So with the melody you have, you could turn it into a beat like this. And that is a wrap, so definitely let me know what you would like to see next. And make sure you sign up for one of our workshops. They're going to be fun. Free, 100% free. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.